feel for that. That's the problem. You've got to have your, your fine leg and your third man up because you need men square the wicket deep. Ball number two. Well hit. It's in the gap. That's four more. James Faulkner gets Australia to 297. They now just need four off four. If he gets Australia home, he is an absolute genius. He has not panicked at all throughout this run chase. Even when Australia were nine down and Clint McKay came to the crease, he just looked so calm. Captain's pretty happy. Good position. Game right back in the balance now. Ball number three. Goes to the offside. Beats him. He's got it, James Faulkner. You're a star. Three fours to win the game for Australia from nowhere. And the last two have put on 57. That is great finishing. Faulkner, you are a champion. England cannot believe it. The Aussies are running onto the field. Congratulate Faulkner. What an innings. Johnson, Warner, Kildon, Isle, out they go. The crowd cannot believe it. He was 14 of 23 when Clint Mackay came to the wicket. He finishes on 69 from 47. He's dragged everything to the leg side, leg side, leg side, leg side, fours and sixes. Then he finishes it with a cover drive. So, like I said, thanks everyone for coming out. It was a great day. Let's, we're just having a look at the finish here. Some of the shots. Were you in control or were you just thinking, I've just got to hit it out of the park? Try and hit it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it pretty simple. Mate, the boys have just rushed straight out. There were some nervous faces. Could you sense that from the dressing room? Yeah, definitely. I saw one of the boys bouncing, bouncing a beach ball over there at one stage. I think that was George. So, obviously everyone was nervous, but like I said, it's just great to win. And what were you saying to Clint? Just play the forward defence, mate. Don't get out. He's got a beautiful forward defence, so... <laughs> yeah, look, he's solid as a rock. James, you're the hero tonight, mate. Well done. And I think Nagaba appreciate what you've done. Over to you, JB.